Hey guys, what's happening? So, this just showed up on Amazon, and my last one actually burned out, but it's um, <clears throat> a hand Matek 2 in 1. So, it's basically an SMD Wear workstation with a uh, hot air and soldering iron. I wanted to put it right here. Uh, like I said, my other one burned out. And this design is different than your typical design, the cheaper ones you see on Amazon. And I'll show you why here in a second. Actually, why I chose this other one, or this one compared to the other ones. I find the exact same one as I, the other one that broke. Um, so yeah, I, I was hoping to get something compact. Might have to 3D print some stuff. It's weird, it's a plastic soldering iron. But I do actually have the metal one left over from my other soldering station. But it's nice actually having hot air, you know, like right here where I can do shrink wrap, I can desolder you know, SMD surface mount components. Um, but the unique thing about this one is that the air gun, the air comes from actually inside the device. Whereas the other ones actually have a blower fan. And actually I did some troubleshooting and I tried to repair it, but the heating elements, they burn out real fast on, on the other ones. Um, so I wanted something that was different, more like like your, like your typical high-end hot air stations actually have the, the fan inside the actual unit and not in the actual gun here. Um, so that's the difference. If you look, look at the Hacko one or some of the other more expensive ones, the heating element or the blower fan is not in the wand, but it's actually inside the box here. So I'm going to take the box apart and we'll take a look at it inside too. Some soldering. More solder. Cool. Tips. I still have my tips from my last one. If you look in there. So, got some extra tips now. Um, all right, yeah, I have to. I have to do some cell phone repair. I dropped my cell phone in the uh, in a saltwater swimming pool, and uh, what sucked is all my pictures hadn't backed up yet. So all the a whole like vacation trip, a weekend vacation to resort, all the pictures got. Uh, well, they're still on my motherboard here, and I can't get them off. They weren't backed up off site yet. Um, all right, Put that here. All right, so here is the front of it. So, let me figure this out. Let's see if this is a plastic soldering stand. Yeah, I've never seen a soldering stand that was plastic. Um, but what I might want to do is, because I don't know if I have enough room to put that on the side. Like in the picture, it has a this thing on the side, like that. So you can mount this thing. Um, so I might 3D print something or design a holder for this thing. Yeah, that way I can actually kind of put it wherever I want. But, all right, I'll figure that out, but that's not a big deal. Um, here's the soldering iron. It's not going to be a great soldering iron. I can't imagine it would be. Right now, I'm currently, I'll be back to using my little old weller. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I don't know. I guess I, I don't, I, sometimes I don't like having the built into the same unit, because if one thing fails, um, then... Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of a headache to, to troubleshoot, but I mean, I, I can fix the electronics if I have to. Um, but the other the reason why I didn't, fi I, I'd actually fixed the board on um, my other one that failed, but the problem was buying the, I had to keep on buying the heating elements, which costs almost as much money as the, uh, as the whole device. Um, but I forgot to mention this thing is, um, it's like 85 bucks. So it definitely wasn't the cheapest one on there, but it was the cheapest one I could find with the, you know, the actual air going through the actual hose. All right, so let me get this plugged in. We'll fire it up. All right, so one of the selling points they put was this mesh, the grit right there on the tip. Better uh, air distribution, but, um, I mean, that does make sense, though. But, yeah, I'm sorry not to take the cover off, but, I mean, there actually is a picture of the, uh, of the device opened up on the actual uh, Amazon page. I'll put a link down below where you can get it. But uh, it shows actually the regular blower fan, which actually feeds this thing right here. So it's just like a, you know, like a typical like 3D printer blower fan. Like what, like a 2040 or something like that? But, all right, um, all right, let's fire this up. All right, so main power, oh, I didn't plug it in. All right. All right, power on. All 
Alright, so I just got this thing going. Um, forgot to put my camera on, but this thing actually fired up and heated this iron up in like a couple seconds, so that's great. Um, okay, I gotta figure out the hot air thing here. But the instructions are kind of horrible, but. Yeah, like basically almost nothing. Okay. So, really, operation instructions is this right here. <laughs> really, just this right here, that's it. <laughs> so, I'll try to figure it out. Alright, this took me a while to figure this out, but the instructions don't really are not descriptive. Check this out. It's magnetic. So what happens is when, when you're done with that, uh, that's actually what I learned from the last one, is that once you put the wand back in there, or you turn the wand off, the, it has to cool the element off. So if you just unplug and you try to figure you think the thing is stuck, it's not actually stuck. It actually, once you turn the wand off, it will actually blow afterwards to heat down the cooling element so it doesn't burn out. Um, see how it turned off? Alright, so watch this. Okay. So, that makes me think that that's sort of like a safety issue. Meaning that, um, well, if you forget to turn this off, right? Right, and you pick this up activates it so I wonder if that can be tripped by another magnet I don't know I'll figure that out that'd be crazy if it could be flipped by another magnet all right so turn that off let's see what happens okay no I'm good I'm trying to think if you forgot to turn it off you know like since there's no indicator, right? There's no indicator this thing is actually on or off right here. And I forgot about it and this thing fell on my desk somewhere. And it would turn itself on. Right? See, that could be a problem. Like, there's no difference. It doesn't differentiate between this and this. Oh, by the way, th there's actually, on the other one, it, it was hardwired in into the thing. So, the fan, the fan portion of it. That's why this didn't actually affect it, that didn't turn it off. I'm hopefully not rambling too much, but yeah, that could definitely be an issue. So if you forgot to turn it off and this thing fell, you could light your house on fire. All right, so be aware of that. This thing is pretty fast, look at this. That comes on in two seconds. When this thing starts to flash, that means it's ready to go. Like my Weller took at least a minute to heat up or, or longer. So, I mean, I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, I, I don't expect a lot for eighty-five bucks, but at least I can start taking some components off. Let's actually try that. We'll take a component off a surface mount. So, five seventy. I don't know if I like. I said it's a, it's, a, it's a plastic mount. So, all right. All right. So I found a good spot for it. I think uh, my desk is definitely getting. I gotta clean this up. I mean, I have no, hardly any place to work. All right. Um, all right. So I'm gonna put that up there. I'm gonna find a way to screw it up there, at least out of the way. Um, all right. I'm gonna do. A, we're gonna take off a component real quick on the hot air thing here. All right. So I'm on a quest. I'm gonna take this cap off. Just, just an old dead video card. I usually keep a lot of these old. Electronics just so I can use uh, components off them. All right, so I'm gonna take off something here, but I'm thinking that cap maybe. I don't know what kind of solder this is, but we'll give it a shot here. Yeah, this new solder, man, it, it's uh, the, the non leaded solder, the stuff coming on these PCBs, melts at a really high temperature. I might need to turn this up. I do actually have a microscope, but I'll show you that in another video. I got that. Uh, it's my. Okay, now we're at. It's flashing. We're, we're at temp now. Wow, look at that.
Yeah, these, these, uh, this new solder, man, is, is insanely crazy. It, you, the soldering iron is not even hot enough to get it done. At least my weller wasn't. This thing's blowing on hot, super hot air, too, so I know it's not this thing. All right, so I'm at 700 degrees right now, nothing. All right, brought the air up and the temp up to 800. Finally. All right, so 800 degrees and 65% air and took it off. Yeah, th these new, this new solder, man, it's, it's crazy. All right, so uh, yeah, I got some uh, stuff to do here. I just want to do some test components before I do my real repair. All right, pretty cool device here. But I think I'm gonna turn the main power off, just so I don't want to chance it. Turn the power off, so the power will, won't affect the actual cooling fan, the after after cooling fan. So it does work at 800 degrees. So for me, I wanted to get it for service mount components. Um, so 800 degrees was able to take off that, and 65% fan was able to get the capacitor off. All right, guys. Cool, cool tool. Hopefully, it lasts. The other one didn't last for. I probably used it three times. <laughs> All right, cool.